This is the uh, second edition of Art Southampton. We've had a very successful run. Today's our last day, Monday. We've had over 15,000 people through the doors so far, which uh, eclipses last year's uh, attendance. Uh, this year we doubled the size of the fair. Uh, we have 88 international galleries, uh, some of the finer galleries who participated in some of the most important art fairs around the globe, uh, descended on Southampton this weekend and really fulfilled uh, collectors' needs for investment quality work. Uh, it was great work uh, that's been on display here, emerging mid-career cutting edge, modern, classical, modern works. Uh, we have everything from a couple of thousand dollars all the way up to a $19 million uh, Roy Lichtenstein painting. It's been, a, it's been a great run. We're excited about next year. Dealers are already renewing and saying they want to come back. Um, we've had many important collectors walk through the door. Uh, people that are known to have some of the uh, most important collector, collections of art globally, uh, not just from America, but from abroad. So, uh, Southampton's really on uh, the cultural calendar now for all those fair goers. Very high end quality work here at Art Southampton. I really look to seeing you next year, third weekend in July. Invasion. And the theory was, who were the guys from the alien invasion? Well, to me, an alien is anyone on the cell phone. Yes. And I usually paint pictures of people at cocktail parties. Okay. And I work with the ballet and the circus, but I noticed recently that people right in front of me are acting like they're on another planet almost. They're, they're talking, but they're not present. It's like they're not there, and then you realize they're on the cell phone. And so I tried to wonder, where is this exciting place that they're at in their head that's more exciting than being right in front of their own friend? That's brilliant. And they must be somewhere. So I started painting naked aliens. And, what, and what's the name of your planet? It's called the planet Zotan. And the Zotanians are on well, planet Zotan. Yes, well, the thing you should know is that Zotan is a beautiful planet. They have no war, no poverty, fresh air, clean water, lots of food, but there's no art. Because the planet's atmosphere cannot support paint, the atmosphere cannot support bronze or canvas. So we came here to steal the art, and that's what we did tonight. I noticed I have a very nice war hall that I'm uh, oh, yeah. Heading back to Zotan. Keith Haring died. Unfortunately, LA2 
was overlooked totally by the art world. These are works of his from the 80s. During this time, they did they worked separately and they collaborated. Oh, that's fascinating. L.A. Oh, did, did a lot it. of the iconography. Oh, that's interesting. But he never did a figure, and that's how you can tell that it's a Keith Haring and not an L.A. 2. You will always see figures in Keith Haring's work. Oh, that's interesting. And your name again? Donna Schneier. And that's your outside is DonnaSchneier.com? Uh, exactly. Thank you so much, Donna. Thank Very you. lovely. Thanks. And your full name, Mr. Kessler? Stefan Kessler. Stefan Kessler at the Kessler Gallery yes. at Art Southampton. And you enjoyed the show? I enjoyed the show very much. There was a good uh, turnover for people. We sold very well and uh, the facilities and everything has been done in the highest standard. Oh, excellent, excellent. And you were here last year? No. Nope. No, nope, but you, were, you have a gallery in Southampton? Yes, in New York. I will be back next year. And I think it's uh, Miami and the Hamptons. The Miami and the Hamptons are the places to be, don't you think? Yes, I agree. <laughs> uh, wonderful. And if people want to reach you, what kind of art do you carry? You have a big picture here by Russell Young of Kate Moss. Yeah, and we are specialized in uh, Banksy street artwork. And this is what we do uh, very well. And then contemporary art uh, also. Thank you. And what website can people get you at? CatchTheGallery.com Thank you so kindly for your time. You're so much welcome. A lot of it, you integrated with a lot of charities. Southampton Hospital. Correct. We had a wonderful partnership with Southampton Hospital for the opening night, which attracted over 4,100 people. Um, benefiting the hospital, we're actually taking the Art Southampton Pavilion in this beautifully 100,000 square foot fully air conditioned facility and giving it to the hospital to use next weekend for their 55th summer party, which is a wow. major fundraiser. Oh, you're wonderful. Yeah. And we had a great, great, uh, great partnership with the New York Academy of Art, in which Eric Fischel came out and he uh, curated a stand of famed alumni uh, who are actually represented by Dallas and their work's here for sale. 100% of the proceeds are going to the New York Academy of Art. We're really pleased about that. We have the Ross School here, uh, their students work for sale to also benefit the Ross School. So a lot of philanthropy around the fair and uh, we're proud that we're engaged with the community. you it's at uh, sure we are at Hexton Gallery so you go to hextongallery.com uh, and uh, there are all the contact information is there that's the best place to see the work uh, and learn a little more about us. Thanks. And we're here with Beth McNeil and Beth you're representing Mr. Jeff Muse and who else? I'm working with Yana Payasova, uh, Perry Burns, Tab Frankie and Jerome Lucani and we've had a very successful fair this year with Art Southampton. We are pleased to be here and we look forward to participation again with uh, Nick Kornilov in Art Miami and uh, we are excited that we have a chance to bring this work to the market and we look forward to uh, seeing you soon. And if people want to reach you, they can reach you where? McNeil Art Group, M-C-N-E-I-L-L -L Art Group, G-R-O-U-P, McNeilArtGroup.com. Thank you, Beth. Thank you. Hi, 
I'm here with Abby Taylor, and Abby, your group is known as the Abby M. Taylor Fine Art. And you had tremendous success at uh, the show Art Southampton, correct? Yes, we have. We, saw, we have sold quite a number of works here. Uh, well, that's what made me stop all the red dots. Of whom did you sell? Do you mind if I ask? Not at all. There are some very well-known na names in the group, such as Louise Nevelson, who, uh, one of the great female sculptors of the 20th century. Sold a small uh, cap of a monument by her. Uh, a work by Sidney Gordon, a little rarer, uh, 1940s sculpture. And alongside of it, the painting behind me uh, by Thomas Downing, a 1960s hard-edged abstraction piece, which is coming back into vogue. And we sold out uh, works by contemporary artist Kyle Fonseca and uh, works by Roger Phillips, who's a wonderful contemporary sculptor. And if people want to reach you, they can reach you where? Uh, either in New York at 32 East 67th Street or in Greenwich, Connecticut, where we have galleries. The dot com address is amtfineart.com. Perfect. Thank you so kindly. You're welcome. Follow Art Miami, which will be coming up. Yeah, Art Miami is in December, you know, first week of December. We have three fairs in Miami this year Art Miami, Context Art Miami, and the Aqua Art Miami Fair, which is uh, a fair that we acquired while we started up Context last year. So, Perfect. Yeah, all our information can be found at uh, art miamicom and certainly Art Southampton, art Southampton.com. Thank you so much. Thank you.